So we're going to talk a little bit about the table component, large data set and scrolling. Um, so I want to show you what's going to happen by default if you take a table, drop it on the page, and hook it up to data from a business object. And this business object specifically have a lot of records. So if I do ID and title, choose two fields and click finish, you're going to get the data on the page, which is what you want to. Now, the interesting thing to look at is when you run your application, if you actually look at the network monitor to see what is happening. So we're loading the things for the page, and then you're going to start seeing these requests. So all of those are requests that are going over to the business object to fetch data. And if you look in here, you would see a lot of requests going to the business object and fetching 25 records, each time from another offset. So each time we're basically building another 25 records. The result is that if you actually look at the page, you can scroll all the way down to the end, well, you will reach this message after the 500 records. And the message is exceeds maximum row for table scrolling. So in my business object, I actually have over a thousand records. Okay. Um, what we're trying to do here is help you create a better UI. So we're trying to tell you, you shouldn't be showing that many records to a customer, to an end user, and expect him to scroll through all of them to find the information he needs. You should probably have a filter at the top of the table to allow them to define some query criteria. However, let's assume that you do have a scenario where you want to show more records. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that you can override this limit of 500 and make it bigger. The other thing that you should understand is that you probably don't want this type of behavior of having multiple network requests, each time getting you 25 records Instead, you would want to get uh, the number of records you expect to get in as little as possible in terms of amount of network requests. Okay, So let's go to the table and play a little bit with the properties. So the first thing most people would want to do is actually not have a table that basically scores the whole page, but rather have a section on the page where the table shows up. So this is quite easily set. If you go to the table properties and you look up the style property, you can set the height of the table to something like, let's say, 300 pixels. Okay, so now we have a section on the page that shows the table. The behavior of the table would still be the same. It would actually do the scrolling for us. So now let's run the page now. And again, we look at the network traffic, and what's interesting to see is that you see we only have one request to get 25 records, and that's much better. Okay, we only got 25 records because we're actually showing here just seven records. Okay, and if we scroll down past the 25 records, there you go. We get another request happening here to get the next 25 records. So that's probably the behavior you want to set on your table. Okay, you want to set a specific height. And then the scroll and the fetching of the data is done automatically for you by the service data provider and the table. Okay, And you can see it's done by sending a limit and an offset to the REST endpoint. Now, this would work if your REST endpoint is based on a business object in Visual Builder or on an ADF-based REST service. If it's working on another REST service, you would probably need to set up a REST a service transformation to tell us how to pass the offset to that service. Okay, let me show you another thing you can do. Maybe you know that people would likely scroll to over a thousand records. Right? So what you can do then is if you look up in the table property, the scroll policy, you would see it's load more on scroll, which is what it's doing right now. But there's also a scroll policy option. And if you go in here, you can set the scroll size. So instead of fetching 25 records each time, I can, for example, tell it, let's fetch 250 records each time, and let's set the maximum amount of records that we allow to show in the table to, let's say, 1,000 instead of the 500, which is the default. So this is how you increase this size. Again, if we run the page again, 
we're going to get the first fetch, which is bringing us 250 records. So now the scrolling is smooth until we get to the 250. And then you can see there's a wait time, and then we can scroll to the next 250 records, get to the 500, again, wait time, and get the rest of the records. So this is how you can scroll beyond the 500 records, basically all the way to the limit that you set on your table, in our case, a thousand records. Okay. One more thing to remember is the more records you bring over to the client, the more you load the memory on the client, and you might run out of memory on your browser at some point. So be aware of that as well. I wanted to show you um, one more thing, which is what happens if, for example, in your scroll options or scroll policy, you switch it to auto okay, and run the page now. Okay, so you can see we did one fetch of a thousand records in one go. And this is basically we disable the load more. We're just fetching everything out of the gate, and we're fetching a thousand records directly into our client. Okay, and this is because we set this call policy to auto. Okay, one more thing to show you is that if you go into the scroll policy options and you remove the settings here, there's another place where you can limit the amount of records that would be fetched. Okay. And this place is actually in the definition of the service data provider that is the base for the table. So this table is based on this service data provider, which is defined over here. And the service data provider has something called paging criteria. And if you go over here, you can map values here. And you can, for example, set the max size here to, let's say, be 600. Right? So we'll save this one, and now we'll run this again. And remember, our table now doesn't have a setting for the max number of records. Okay, And you can see we fetched 600 records in one go, and this is because this is the definition at the SDP layer. Okay, So if we scroll all the way to the end of the table, we'll reach 600, and that's it. Now, because we didn't reach the limit of the table, but rather the limit of the SDP, we don't get the message that you exceeded the number of records allowed to be fetched. So you probably want to sync up the SDP value with the max value that you're allowing on the table. Now again, all of this is a way for you to fetch a lot of records, which is not necessarily the right behavior that you would want to encourage in your user interface. Probably a better way to do it is add some filtering for the table ahead of time and only get the number of records you want.